I wanted to share with you something that I do to make myself make sure that I get some whatever done I want to get done every day. Um, this is a, a, pro, a system that I used when I was teaching and it's called 43 file folders. 43 folders basically. That's kind of the system. It comes from this book, Getting Things Done, right here. It's a system of actual file folders. You have 31 of them numbered 1 through 31. You have 12 labeled for the month, January, February, March, etc. So what happens is you have this, um, you have these folders and when you go through your inbox or you, when I go to my email and or my mail at the teacher, my teacher mailbox, I get all this stuff and I get these notes, do this, do that, do that. So I figure out as I'm going through my inbox, I figure out what day I want to get this job done. And then I go to that folder. If it's, if it's uh, the, the tenth of the month that I need to have it done by, I put that piece of paper in the tenth file, in number ten. That's the tenth day of the month. That's the date I want to have it done by. Then I go to the next piece of paper and I say, when do I want to have this done? Okay, it goes in the next whatever date. Then when I get to that day, on my prep hour or whatever time I do my work, I take that folder out, physically take it out of the file drawer, open it up, do everything in the folder, and then everything is done for that day. I'm not wondering what I've missed. I don't have a stack of papers on my desk that I feel like oh, overwhelmed because I haven't gone through them and I don't know what I'm missing and oh my gosh, this is, I forgot to do that and I forgot to do this. Everything is in this system, so nothing falls through the cracks. If you go through your stuff every day, I don't wanna do that physically. I really like having my stuff on the computer, but that's one way you could do it physically. You could do that every day. You could have a folder every day that you wanna get done. Put something, if you need to do follow up for a certain customer, write it on a piece of paper, put it in that folder, and then take it out for that day. Hello, is make a system comparable to the 43 folders. Okay, so here I have a board, and I'm going to go up here and just show you how to make this real quick. Here is the plus sign up here in the right hand side. I'm going to say create board and I'm going to call it 43 folders uh, 2. Or 2, sorry, not 1. Okay, and then I'm going to create this board. So I'm going to go to the board and I'm going to make my lists. The list will be the folders that you would actually, the physical folder in Trello, they're lists. So I'm going to make a list for January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November, December. Okay? Now I'm going to make my day list. One, two, three, four, five. Etc. Etc. Okay, so as I'm going through this, <clears throat> now I have all my days, my months, right? Well, we're in the month of April, so April is going to um, everything. Be everything before April is going to go at the end of the year, so it's going to go behind December. See, moving these around is just amazing. Okay, and then I'm going to go back. This. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to move February over, 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 put it right after January, right there, okay? January. Now, okay, so here's April, March needs to go to needs to go to the end after February. Okay, so here's my, you get the idea of how to make it. Now here's my page. Here's April at the very beginning. Here's tomorrow's date. Okay, the 12th, 13th, this is today's date now that you're watching this. 
Here's the rest of the month. Now when we get to the end of the month, end of April, here's 31st, I don't know. You just keep all the numbers together. Now here's May. Now as I've worked through the month, I've moved the date into the May folder. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So I moved yesterday's date into the folder. Now at the end of eleven, here's June, because when I get into May, I'm going to start moving the days into June like that. Okay? So the month works up to the front of the folders, the files, and so when I'm done with April, then I will take April and put it all the way to the end boom, 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 of the months. March, there's April. And it will wait for next year to come around. Now, there's today's date. I want to put uh, I want to put April back. So that's basically how you work through your to-do list. You you move, you keep the, the the folder, the month folder at the beginning so you know what month it is. Of course, you know what month it is, but obviously sometimes you might say, well, like for example, when I was teaching, if there's a festival in in April, but we've already done for, done with it and I have paperwork for next year, I'll put the paperwork in next in the April folder so when I get to April next year, I have the paperwork there. I don't have to go hunt it down. That's the beauty of this system. Everything's in the system. There are no cracks for anything to fall through. Okay? Now, working through the days, here's the beauty of this. I can move things around. I can change things. If I don't get it done that day, I just move it around and I um, just put whatever I want on this. Now I put see follow up Friday board. So I would on when Friday comes, I would go over to my boards and find my follow up Friday board. And here are my things that I want to do. Here's a list of follow up categories. Here's all those categories. And then I'm going to, as the week goes, I'm going to put in names or uh, things that I need to do to follow up on those on that day. That's how I'm using Trello and the new 43 folders. Um, it helps me stay organized. I will always have everything in my list and be able to think ahead and get things done quickly. I find that the, the thing that takes the longest is figuring out what I need to do, not actually doing it. So this will help that. I hope that helps and um, share some ideas because I'm brand new to this and I hope that, uh, that you um, enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye.